Hello, my beautiful friends. How's everybody doing today? I am so excited about today's video. I'm actually going to be using some of the stuff that you have sent me. I'm also going to be using some stuff that I haven't used in a long time that I want to revisit, some stuff that I got in my boxes. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm super excited. So let's just get started. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how grateful I am when you guys do reach out to me and ask if you guys can send me something. It's just very humbling and, you know, I thank you with all my heart. There's just not, just not enough words, you guys, but I thank you so much. Okay, so the first thing I want to get into here is this uh, eye primer here. I actually just received it in a box. Uh, it's the first box I ever ordered from this company, and it's by Trend Mood. It's actually a page over on Instagram. They're super informative. You know, I get a lot of my information from them. You know, they're just wonderful for the uh, beauty world. Whenever there's a new product, they're like the first ones to know, and then they inform us. And apparently, they sell boxes, and I didn't know that. And one of our friends here, Wendy, told me about it. And I actually got volume 18. So they've been selling these boxes for a while. So I just brought down a couple things from that box. And uh, the first thing that I brought down was this here is this eye primer. And I think it's by True Ludicrous or Angel Eyes. I've never heard of this brand before. So I definitely want to give it a try. And I feel weird, you know, uh, cheating on my holy grail eye primer. But I definitely just want to try new things, you guys, especially when I get them in these boxes. So I'm just going to place a little bit on my eyelid here. Ooh. I do like that. You know, it does conceal uh, any redness, which I do appreciate. Uh, so does my other one, my little Holy Grail. So it does glide on rather nice. Um, it feels hydrating. And it looks like you do not need a lot of product because uh, that was quite a bit. So I'm actually going to just go on my other eyelid here. I don't even think I have to add product. So a little bit definitely goes a long way. And it does say it's infused with rose extract. So, yeah, you guys, I do like this primer so far. Okay, you guys, the palette I'm going to be using here is from one of our friends here, Carla. I've actually known Carla for about 8 to 10 years. Uh, she actually worked for my sister-in-law at her salon. She was the makeup artist there. And she actually did our makeup for my sister-in-law's wedding. And I actually have some pictures right here that I'll put up of her doing all of our makeup. But uh, she's super talented, and I miss her. She moved, um, I believe it was to Florida. So, anyway, she reached out to me and asked if she can send me this palette and wait till you see this palette you guys when I opened it I just about gasped because it is so beautiful but it's by uh, Sydney Grace and it's the uh, Temptala you guys I'm so bad with names but it's uh, this one here but look at the packaging I just absolutely love that these are you know my vibes those colors there so let's open this up and I'm going to show you what this palette looks like so there is a mirror and this is, oh, let me remove the plastic here, you guys, the palette. Oh, isn't that absolutely stunning? And I did some swatches, and I'll put that here. And these are super buttery. I just cannot even wait to put these on my eyelids. But look at that, you guys. And so what I think I'm going to do is go into greens today because, you know, I just did a blue look. So I'm just going to, I don't know, you guys, we'll just play around this palette. But I'm super excited. And again, thank you so much, Carla. It's absolutely stunning. And then she also did this for me, you guys. Uh, she also paints. You know, usually makeup artists, you know, they're wonderful artists anyway. But she sent me like this cute little stand. And this painting that she did, isn't that just beautiful. I absolutely love that. And she just, oops, it's upside down, you guys. She's just so talented. I absolutely adore her. Thank you so much. Let's get in this palette so we can see what it looks like. So I think I'm actually going to uh, start with this shade here up uh, in this corner here. So it does have like a pink undertone and it's called October Odyssey. So I like the names of these um, shades too. So let's just put that on a fluffy brush. Let me turn my eye, um, mirror around and I'm just going to go in and let's start moving this around. So right off the bat, this is super pigmented and I think I like that primer. It does grip um, quite a bit, So, but I do like how it is making uh, this color really pop though. These are blending like a dream and I absolutely love that shade. So now that most of the color is on, I'm actually just going to go in circular, circular motions right at the edge here just to 
calm that harsh line out. So yeah, Carla, she actually worked for my sister-in-law for quite some time. Uh, she also does nails, so she's also a nail tech and the makeup artist. And I will say when she did everybody's makeup uh, for my sister-in-law's wedding, she was amazing, you guys. And, you know, I wish she would have been around for my son's wedding because I uh, remember how that went. But, yeah, she was just so talented because... You know, she did all the makeup age appropriate. You know, all my makeup, it just looked very natural. It didn't look cakey, but it looked like I had my makeup done. So, yeah, she is so talented. I wish she was around, uh, like I said, when it was my son's wedding. Okay, you guys, this is looking really nice. I absolutely love uh, the formula so, so far. I've never tried uh, this brand before, so this is exciting to me. Okay, so I think now what I'm going to do is going to, it's called Infinite Echoes, I believe. And it's this here, so I'm just going to darken up uh, this outer corner. And you guys, I don't know really where I'm going with this look, but uh, I kind of just want to try all of these shades out. So let's see what this shade is. So this is like a nice brown here. Maybe, uh, ooh, you know what, you guys, I think there is a plum undertone, so you could really go a lot of different ways uh, with this shade here, but again, it's super pigmented, and it's blending really nice. Okay, so I just switched up brushes, and I'm just going to take a smaller one here and just kind of smoke this out just like that. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. I love how it just kind of smoked out and really blended really nice with that first shade. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is looking so beautiful. And actually, it matches this shirt. <laughs> I just realized it perfectly. Okay, so now what I think I'm going to do is take a uh, flat brush here. I'm going to make sure that this is clean, you guys. And I think I'm going to go into, it's called Desert Spoon. So it's that beautiful green shade right here. And I'm just going to lay this down as like a base. Uh, hold on, you guys. I think there is something on this mirror. So let's remove that. Hmm, I didn't get that uh, satisfaction sound that I normally love. Okay, so, ooh, look at this, you guys. Do you not see how pigmented that is? Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love that. And I, again, I will say with that um, primer, I can really feel this green gripping on that. Um, so it's not a bad primer, you guys. Uh, it's probably a lot more expensive than what I, you know, pay on Amazon. Okay, so this is where my head went, you guys, um, upstairs. I am just going all over the place with these shades because I want to use a lot of them. But when I first opened this palette, that this shade here just, oh gosh, it's so beautiful. Even though it's like more on the blue family, it does have a little bit of a, a green in it. If you ask me, I'm going to uh, say it does. So this is the shade of Flying High. I'm just going to place that on my finger. And I'm just going to place that on this outer edge. And I would love to see what you did... Um, with this palette, Carla, again, because she is, you know, a makeup artist. And I would love to see the direction she took this palette. Okay, so I am going to go into a small brush again and just grab that um, Infinite Echo, as I believe it was, that little plum shade. Just kind of combine those two. Okay, guys. Oh, my gosh. This is looking <laughs> so beautiful. Okay, so now I am going to go into this other one where my eye went, and it's called um, Earthbound. So it's that beautiful, like, mint green. So that's what that... Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to use a very light hand because you guys just seen how pigmented that was. And what I'm doing is just taking my time and sweeping that into that blue is just, oh, do you guys see how everything is kind of shifting now? Ooh, absolutely stunning. Okay, so I'm just going to take one last shade here, you guys, and it's called Earth Dog. And it's a super pretty um, shimmer up there. And that's what that looks like. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> 
These are so pretty. And I'm just going to place that ever so gently in my inner corner. Oh my word, that is the most beautiful. I mean, it really looks, you know, like this palette. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, um, I feel like it just needs something right above that shimmer. So what I'm going to do is maybe take that flat brush again and use that green and just slightly go over that, you guys, just slightly. As you can see, I'm using the lightest hand just to make a little sharp edge right about that. And that is all I think I'm going to do, you guys, because it is just so beautiful. I absolutely love those shimmers. It's like I can't even stop looking at it. So I'm just going to do this other eye and then we'll move on. I was looking at this palette. I can't wait to dive back into uh, using this because this is a beautiful lavender shade. You know, this pink here, this beautiful purple. You know, this is going to be great even for spring and summer. So I'm super excited about this. And we'll go back into this palette in just a minute. Okay, you guys, so I am going to align my eyes. I am just going to do like a little tiny wing, and I've been using this. This is my new Holy Grail uh, liner here. If you guys haven't seen it, I found it on Amazon, and it says it's by, I don't know, you guys, Dor Dory Me or something like that, but this is what it looks like. Do you see this hook here? It's called the O3 hook. This is amazing, especially if you have hooded eyes or super long lashes because it just glides right over it. So I'm just going to do this. Kind of freehand, you guys, and I'm just you're gonna see how easy this glides across the eye. Any makeup, you know, I don't have to worry. Uh, like that one eyeliner I used the other day, if you had shimmer or glitter on, you know, it just didn't go uh, over it very well. So, as you can see, how easy that is to use. So, this is my new Holy Grail uh, liquid liner, you guys. Okay, as you can see how easy that was. Okay, so let's move on, you guys, uh, to the complexion. And I think what I'm going to use here is, um, I actually got this from one of our uh, friends here. And this was from Cindy. She was the, actually the first one that ever sent me anything. Um, so she sent me a couple things I'll be using here today. Again, thank you so much. This is actually really nice. It's by uh, Benefit. It's their pore uh, filler. So I've used this a few times on the channel. So it looks like that. So it does have like a little, little bit of tint. But once you put it on your skin, you really don't see it. Okay, my pores do look really nice and filled in. I always can tell like right through here because I do have a lot of pores there, believe it or not. And those look very muted. Okay, so I love the pore filler. And then what I think I'm going to do, you guys, I actually got this in my box um, at Tread Mood uh, box as well. It's by Kapari. And this is a nice product, you guys. I've used a few of their products before when they're on sale. And this one here is for the under eyes. And it has niacinamide in it. It also has, oh, it's an eye brightener and caffeine. So let's give this a try, you guys. So it has a pretty um, squeezy tube. And I think I'm just going to put a little bit, ooh, it has like a green tint to it. Mm. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my ring fingers and just place that under my eyes because I haven't put anything under there yet. I'm just finding like if I wait, you know, right before my concealer, it really does make a difference. That feels pretty good. There is a slight tack to it and a very slight, I think there's, a scent to it but it's not strong at all okay you guys and I think I am going to use this primer I haven't used this primer in a long time because I felt like it was like almost making me look older um I don't know how to explain it maybe it was kind of making my skin a little tighter but it's by elf and it's their power grip primer because I actually got another one in my trend mood box too so I'm like well maybe I'll bring it out and see you know what it looks like now on my skin you know my skin is super dry so hopefully it's not going to accentuate that so I'm just going to place maybe about that much on my hand and I did hear Less is actually better with this product. And as you can see, how gripping <laughs> that is. 
Okay, so I'm just going to let this sit here for maybe 30 seconds and then we'll move into uh, the foundation. Okay, so the foundation that I chose to use today, I haven't used this in a hot minute, uh, by LYS. And this is their Triple Fix um, Serum Foundation. It has HA in it, turmeric, and ashwagandha in it. It's cruelty-free, vegan-free. Uh, so, yeah, this is a very nice foundation. And I got mine in the shade M uh, N5. So it is a little deep for me. From what I remember, I'm just going to place a little bit on the back of my hand just to see. Yeah, yeah, see how dark that is. So clearly this is too dark of a shade. So what I'm going to do, uh, fear not, if you guys remember, uh, remember, I have my e.l.f. And this is the color corrector. Now blue is going to neutralize that dramatically. So let me just show you how... It totally changes the shade. So I'm going to rub that in, of course. But as you can see, it really toned that down. So I'm actually going to be using quite a bit of this blue because that is pretty deep. Okay, so I clearly look like a warrior here. So maybe that's the look I'm uh, trying to achieve here. So, oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot even believe how dark that is. And I didn't return this. Um, what was I thinking? Maybe I got it in summer and it worked then, but I don't, well, probably you guys, I do self tan because I'm like, I don't even go in the sun. So what I've been kind of doing is use my fingers first, to blend it really into my skin. You know how that one uh, makeup artist said that you should really warm up the product. So instead of wasting all of it on the back of my hand, I'm going to do it right on the skin itself. Hey guys, I'm looking a little crazy right now, but hopefully everything will come together. And as you can see how that blue has really neutralized that orange yellow tone that was going on. And at first it does look a little scary because you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's turning blue, but no, it will work itself out. So the time this goes out, I'm sure everything will be calmed down over on TikTok. Oh my gosh, you guys. There is so much drama going on over there. Holy Moses, I'm sure, you know, all of you have probably heard, where is my sponge, you guys, um, about the Michaela incident. Um, oh my gosh, you would think... The world was ending over there, you know. It was it's just crazy. Everywhere I I've just stayed off TikTok because it's like that's all that's being talked about. If you guys really want to know my thoughts, I normally don't like to get into that kind of drama or stuff like that. Um, you know, I would never you guys will never hear me talk about religion, politics, or anything on here or stuff like that, or gossip really. Um, only because it creates wars <laughs> so um you'll never hear me talk about that but i will put my little two cents in about this if you guys don't know um what <laughs> which i don't know how that's possible but if you don't know what's happening over there apparently she did um i don't know a tiktok on l'oreal their new i don't know mascara telescope i don't even know what it's called you guys Anyway, so she did this video and allegedly she, they're saying she had on falsies and it kind of does look like she has on falsies and apparently also she was trying to add or hide that it was a sponsored or ad um, TikTok. Anyway, people are going crazy over there, going nuts, you know, she's, you know, in all this I don't know, trouble, I guess. I don't know, with the, <laughs> with the community and, um, so the thing is, my thoughts on it, it's not, it's just, it just sets a bad tone for everybody because now when people see an ad, they're going to automatically think or, or sponsor that, you know, that people are, are lying or, or I don't know that, that's a strong word, lying, because I don't even know she's lied because allegedly she was wearing these uh, lashes, but I don't know. It just says a bad tone, if you ask me. That's how, that's my thoughts on it. Um, if I were her, she's young. She, you know, we've all made mistakes. You know, we're not perfect. You know, we've all done stuff that we regret. Um, I just think everything came so fast for her, and she don't know how to 
to use her, I don't know, her talent. Um, I think she's, you know, I don't know. I think she's under too much pressure and it, it is just too much. And she's trying to please everybody. So that's my thoughts on it, you guys. And hopefully, you know, she will. I, I think the best thing for her is to own up to it. And why can't I ever find anything that I'm looking for, you guys? Um, I think the best thing for her is just to own up on it and just admit what she did and everybody just move on. Okay, found my stuff. Anyway, so what are your, your guys' thoughts on, on that situation? Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the uh, um, Peach Color Corrector by e.l.f. These are all new, these two new products here, uh, the correctors, and I've really been loving them. Um, for under my eyes, this works really well. It's not super uh, drying. It's actually a little hydrating, and it really does help cancel out um, the discoloration of my inner corners. And what I brought down for concealer, I haven't used this in a hot minute. It's my Huda Beauty uh, concealer. I think I remember liking it um, when I first tried it. And I believe I got mine in Coconut Flakes. So this is the doe foot applicator. Look how huge that is. So I'm just going to place a little bit here, here, and right in the middle. Because I think this was pretty high coverage and you don't need a lot of product. So let's just take my hot and flashy concealer brush and blend this on and if you're new I do like going a little bit beneath the eye under eye itself um, because I'm just trying to make that area a little lighter because my eyes are starting you know my under eyes are starting to sink in so this will kind of bring that forward and now I just take whatever's left on the brush and really just blend that into the wrinkles. So, ooh, that looks really good, you guys. And I do like how this Kapari um, hydrated my under eyes. Okay, so the Huda Concealer looks pretty good. It is a little bit of a drier formula, so I don't feel like I would have to use powder under my eyes. But I'm going to, you guys, because I do want to revisit uh, this here, my number seven. And this is their Triple Action Finishing Powder, and I got mine uh, in the shade Light. So I used to use this all the time. So what I think I'm going to do, because I actually saw this little uh, trick on Juicy Jazz, but she's much younger, so we're going to see how it works on um, mature skin. So anyway, I'm going to grab a little bit of this um, powder here on my Beauty Blender Poo Poof, and I'm just going to tap it on the back of my hand just to get some of the product off. And I'm just kind of doing a press motion here. I love this Beauty Blender, I will say that. And then I'm going to just place this around the T-zone. Okay, so it does look a little powdery to me, but I think maybe after this next step, we'll see how everything uh, goes. She says use a pressed powder, then go, uh, go over everything with a loose powder. All right, you guys, this could be really bad. But this is by The Crumb, and I don't think I've ever used this on my um, The Crumb Shop on my channel. Um, and this is in Translucent, so it's their loose setting powder. There is a sweet scent to this, so for me, I enjoy it. Um, if you don't like scents, you <laughs> won't like that. But now I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush, really tap that off. And just go around everywhere and under the eyes you guys believe it or not she said that's what you need to do so I am just following directions let's see moment of truth yikes uh, under my eyes I am NOT liking that so far, but around the t-zone that looks really good uh, yeah I think for mature under eyes that just might be a little bit too much. Um, I'm hoping once I put on like some setting spray and stuff, it will just kind of calm that down. So for me, I don't know, you guys. Me, it could be the um, powders I chose or something, but I definitely will try it again and let you guys know. Okay, for bronzer, I also got this uh, from Cindy. Uh, she sent a, over a whole box, you guys. I had uh, she sent palettes, um, some tester stuff, and uh, this and the uh, benefit pore filler. Uh, but Cindy, she actually has a page over on Instagram, and I'll leave her information in the description box below. Okay, so we're gonna go in now with the Hula, and this is the benefit of bronzer. 
So it looks like that. So I'm just going to take, uh, let's see, you guys, this bronzer, bronzing brush here. And this is my Hot and Flashy A507. And let's see, I haven't used this in a very long time either. So hopefully I don't have too much on this brush. And what I've been doing is just kind of taking my bronzer and sweeping it up into my hairline. Ooh, you guys, I think I placed way too much, so I'm just going to share the love here. All right, and for blush, I think I'm going to use my One Size by Patrick Star. I haven't used this in a long time. Uh, it's the Cheek Clapper. It's a 3D, 3D blush trio, and I got mine in the shade of Fat Ass. So um, there is a large mirror in here, and this is what it looks like. Um, this is a cream blush, which is like protected uh, by a little flap here. And that's a blush, and that's like a topper here. So um, I think I'm going to try all three. So I'm going to go in with the um, cream blush first. So I'm just going to place that on a nice uh, brush here. And this is my uh, BK106. Uh, Let's see. I think this is going to go really well uh, with this eye look. And this does work really well over powder too. So I'm just, you know, laying down like a base right now. So I'm not going to lay down too much product because I am going to use uh, the powder blush and the topper. Okay, so that is looking very pretty. So now I'm going to go into the middle part here and that is a powder formula and I'm going to use my little stippling brush by Eco Tools. Whoa, you guys see what I mean? It is so pigmented. So I'm just going to go over that and in my shadow. I like doing that. It just kind of makes everything go together. Okay, you guys, this is way more pigmented than I thought, so I'm going to clean off my brush really well and really just try to blend this product into my skin. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this topper. So, you know what, you guys, I'm not going to because I actually brought down a highlighting palette that I want to use, but I'll show you what this looks like. And the other thing, too, I really don't care for, it, it has like almost like an orange undertone so I don't know it, it just kind of throws it off sometimes so I'm not going to use uh, that part in that palette okay so for um, highlighter though I am going to use this I think I got this in one of my, my uh, one of my boxes I think it was my boxy charm and it's by uh, Trust Loche and this is their uh, highlighting palette so super pretty here you guys and I am just going to mix the two and just place that right here and above my eyebrow. And I think I'm just gonna add a little bit right here above the cupid's bow. And place just a little bit on my nose. So yeah, you guys, this is super subtle. As you can see, it's almost like a glow, um, not chunky at all. So when I do that, and then I'm just gonna go back over with a little bit of the blush, just so it looks a little bit more natural. Okay, let's go back into this beautiful uh, palette. And I think for uh, the under eyes, let's see which way we want to go, you guys. Let's do, hmm, I think I'm actually going to use a shimmer. And I'm going to use this purple one. And it's called a Calming Presence. On an angle brush, and place that on the outer corner. Yeah, sometimes, you guys, if you do that on the lower lash line, it doesn't look as glittery. And this one's more like a satin finish anyway. And I think I actually want to go into here. It's called Lunar uh, Illumination. It's that really pretty lavender one. So I think I'm just going to place a little bit on this brush, the angle brush as well. And place that more towards the inner corner. Okay, I hope you guys can see how beautiful that lavender shade is. That is absolutely stunning. Okay, you guys, this next product, um, actually, my daughter-in-law gave it to me, and she got it in one of her boxy charms, and I actually think I had it as well, and I think I decluttered it, so um, I don't know, you guys, but it's by Lawless, and it's supposed to be, it's called the One and Done, so you're only supposed to have to put on like one a coat and be done with it. So um, I can't remember it, you guys. I think I liked it, so I don't know why I would have decluttered it. Um, but yeah, that's what it's called. It's called Clean AF. Uh, this is the packaging here, so it is kind of a uh, bulky. And this is the wand here. So it's one of those wands that have like that little ball tip on it. So I usually really like these, so I don't know why I would have got rid of it. So we're going to try it again. 
Okay, you guys, speaking of daughter-in-law, I have some really sad news for me. Uh, I don't even know. Oh, hopefully I can get through this section without even bawling my eyes out. So their plan was always to move to Arizona. That was always their future plan. You know, maybe um, it was supposed to be like next year, um, next summer. So that would have been a whole year and a half, basically. And um, the, at Christmas time, I'm just going to go and try to put this on you guys so I don't cry. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to place this mascara. And so at Christmas time, they they go every year uh, because her parents have a condo there. And um, they went down there and she went and talked to her, I don't know, you guys, I guess it would be like the headquarters because she is the manager Actually, she's higher than a manager. I think it's not, she's not the district manager yet, but she's high up there, you guys. Anyway, um, they wanted to talk to her. Well, anyway, they offered her the district manager position down in Arizona. And, of course, she took it because that's always been her, you know, goal. Hmm, you guys, um, hello. Uh, <laughs> that's always been her goal. Um, was to be a district manager, you know, for the company she works for, and she didn't want to pass up the opportunity. The catcher is she will be leaving March 30th of this year, like <laughs> uh, next month, you guys. And my son will be following as soon as they sell the house. Uh, he will be staying back maybe uh, one or two months, and as soon as they sell the house, he will be gone as well. So, I am just very devastated. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm, of course, I'm happy. I'm proud um, for her achievements. And my son, he can work anywhere. He's amazing at what he does. And um, I'm just so proud and happy for that moment. I'm being selfish because <laughs> I don't want them to leave. You know, we've become so close. I'm My son and, you know, um, Daryl and I, we've always been best friends, very close. But when Amanda came in the picture, uh, things just took on a whole new level. And um, her and I are actually very close, very best friends. I talk to her way more than my son. Um, and yeah, I just don't know what I'm going to do because even like right now, I'm getting ready and we're going to be heading over to their house. And you guys, just everything we do is with them. Um, they're basically our best friends. You know, we hang out with them all the time. And I don't know, I'm just going to have a very hard time um, when they leave, especially Amanda, because that's just right around the corner. And then, you know, if they have children or something. So that's always been my goal. I don't know if I ever mentioned it here. I always knew they were going to move. So I, my goal was to, you know, have this channel succeed so I could join them, you know, and not have to work at the dental office. And yeah. Anyway, you guys, so that is my very sad news that I, again, it's a bittersweet moment. Um, I will miss them dearly, just dearly. So I think I'm going to have to have her on the channel before she leaves. <laughs> but we're going to be throwing them a huge party here at my house. So I definitely will um, involve you guys with that as well. Okay, you guys, so that actually works really good. I think from what I'm re remembering now, because like what as I was applying it, I think it dries out rather quickly. So maybe that was the problem. So I'm making sure that's on super tight. Okay, you guys, so now I am going to set my face, and I've been using this. This is new. As you can see, you guys, you remember when I purchased this not too long ago. Look how much I've already gone through. So I used this first uh, before my setting spray. Yeah, so this is just super hydrating on my skin. I absolutely love it. I get it on Amazon. I actually saw Juicy Jazz. I use it on her channel. That's how I found out about it. But I, my skin's been absolutely loving it. So I just placed a little bit on my poof poof. And I am going to place a little bit under these eyes because they do look a little powdery. Yeah, that does really help, you guys. If you ever have like a super powdery look under your eyes or even around uh, the T-zone, just place a little bit of even setting spray or something um, on your um, poof poof and really just press it into your skin. And it really does just melt the powders into your skin. Okay, you guys, and then I'm going to use this. I haven't used this forever, and it's by Catrice. I remember I was obsessed with this. And this is the uh, Dewy Glow 
fixing spray. Now this has like pearls of, I don't know, maybe glitter in here, you guys. So <laughs> this could be a bad idea because I'm pretty glowy as it is. So I'm just going to do a light layer of this. Ooh, the sprayer is very nice, but ooh, that is pretty heavily scented. Okay, you guys, we'll just let that dry down. Okay, so this next product my daughter-in-law and son got me. It was for Christmas, and um, it's this cute little lipstick here, and it's by Urban Decay. And it actually came in the Sephora uh, Favorites Holiday Lip Kit here. Uh, so as you can see, it came with a lot of lipsticks. And I haven't used this one yet, and it's called, I believe, Backlash or Back Talk. Yeah, back talk. So I am going to use this. And this is what the shade looks like. That is so pretty. That is a true mauve. Uh, let's see what it looks like on the lips, though. And I'm not even going to line them today, you guys, because I do have a gloss I want to put over this. Ooh, these are super creamy. They just glided right over my lips. My lips feel super uh, hydrated. So really enjoy that. And I love the color. That is Super pretty. It really goes well with this look. Okay, so this next product I'm going to be using is from my very good friend, Brenda. Um, we met on here and over on Instagram, and we talk all the time through direct messages. So she's just a doll. And if you guys remember, it was about a month ago, she sent me like a whole box full of stuff. So I've been using that um, nonstop, and I thought I would incorporate these into today's video because I haven't um, gone into these yet because I've been waiting to use them on um, camera. So they're the Fenty Glosses. And I think I want to go with this shade here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I absolutely love this shade. And look at the doe foot on that. I love that. Okay, so let's see what it looks like with this uh, shade, you guys. Hopefully it's not too loud. And, ooh, no, it adds like a nice little hint of pink over that. Ooh, and there is like a little sweet scent to these. And I don't think these are plumping or anything. Um, I think they're just like a nice little gloss. So they're not sticky at all. It almost feels like a an oil, a lip oil. And I think with um, this lipstick, it looks really nice. So I think I had just a little bit too much on. But ooh, that looks so good. Those worked really well together. Okay, so this is today's final look. I absolutely love how everything turned out. And thank you so much again for these amazing products. I cannot wait to use them again. And as for all the rest of the products I brought down that I haven't used in a while, I actually really enjoy all of them still. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, if you please help me out by hitting that like button, I would truly appreciate it. I can't wait to see you guys again. I love you so much. And until next time.